Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Resident Evil 2 when you are unable to launch this game or you're facing crashing, freezing, black screen or you're receiving any kind of DLL errors on Windows 10, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps shown in this video. So at the end of each step, try to launch the game and if you're still facing the problem, then move on to the next step. The steps are very easy to follow, so there should not be any problem. So the first step is to update Windows 10. So go to the start menu, click on settings, click on update and security, then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try launching the game. The next step is to do a clean installation of graphic card driver. So make sure that you're doing a clean installation. So if you have AMD and graphic card, go to AMD website. If you have Nvidia, go to nvidia website so i'm showing for nvidia so just type in nvidia drivers in google search go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list so make sure that you select your graphic card so if you're not sure about which graphic card you have make a right click on start menu then click on device manager go to display adapter and expand display adapter here you can see the name of your graphic card so select your graphic card from the list, then click on search, then click on download. Now, once you click on download, the exe file will download. Once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you open, you will see this screen, which will perform the system check and here you will see the option. So just click on agree and continue, then select the option which says custom. So by default, it will be express. Make sure that you select the custom option, then click on next. And this option will be unchecked. So make sure that you put a check on option which says perform or clean installation. So put a check over here, then click on next and install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then try launching the game. The next step is to install media feature pack. So to install media feature pack, visit this link. I provided the link in the video description. So open this link and then select your edition. So if you have Windows 10 19.03 installed or 18.09, make sure that you select the right version and then confirm and then you can install the media feature pack. So if, if you want to know which version right now is installed on your computer, then go to start menu, click on settings, go to system, click on about, scroll down and here you can see windows 10 and here you can see the version 1909 right now i have 1909 so whatever version you have select that version and then click on confirm and install the media feature pack and then restart your computer and then try launching the game many users were able to fix this problem by you know simply installing the media feature pack now the next step is to you know close all the services related to nahimic sonic studio or sonic radar so open task manager make a right click on taskbar and then click on task manager and in the process tab make sure that you close any services which is related to nahimic sonic studio or sonic radar so select that particular uh, service and then click on end task so this is just for an example in my case it's not running in your case if you have these services running in the task manager select that uh, service and then end the task. The next uh, step is to install Visual Studio C++ file. So copy this link and then open the link in browser. The link is provided in the video description. Now you have to go ahead and install Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019 both x86 and x64 version. So click on this exe file now once the exe file is downloaded click on it click on I agree to the license terms and condition then click on install if you, this is uh, you know install on your computer from before then you have to go ahead and click on repair so you might see the repair option so if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow
then restart the computer but right now don't restart because I have the second file so you click on the second exe file which is x64 and at the end you can go ahead and restart the computer so run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option like me so click on install close it now scroll down and you have to, you also have to install visual studio 2013 so click on this download the microsoft c++ so click on this link it will take you to the next page scroll down and this time also you have to install both x64 and x86 so select under x64 click on this link which says english united states open this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install then click on yes to allow once the download is complete close this scroll down and this time install x86 english united states click on this link run this exe file again if you see the repair click on repair if you see the install click on install Now restart your computer. After installing these files, restart your computer and then try launching the game. The next step is to uh, roll back graphic card driver. So many users were able to resolve the problem after uh, you know installing the previous version of graphic card. So open device manager, make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager. Expand display adapter, select your graphic card, make a right click, then click on properties. Go to driver tab. And then if this option is highlighted, click on rollback driver and install the previous version of graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then try launching the game. The next setting is to uh, turn off red on anti lag. So if you have, uh, if you are AMD users, if you are, you are using AMD graphic card, then open red on settings, make a right click on your desktop and then open red on settings and then select your game and then go ahead and turn off this red on anti lag option over here so for few users you know turning off this feature has resolved the problem so you can try this if this does not resolve the problem you can always enable this feature now the next step is to launch the game from installation folder as as an administrator so go to the installation um, you know uh, file uh, go to the installation folder so in most of the case the game is installed in the c drive in my case, I have installed the game in the D drive. So go to the installation folder where wherever you have installed the game, go to that folder and open Resident Evil 2 folder. And here you can see the exe file. Here you can see Resident Evil 2 exe file. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow. And after that, you launch the game. Now, for many users, you know, disconnecting the controller while launching the game, just disconnect the controller from your computer and then try launching the game. That should resolve the problem. Now, the next step is to run the game in compatibility mode for Windows 8. So, to run the game in compatibility mode, just make a right click on the Resident Evil uh, exe file. You can go to the installation folder or you can simply make a right click on the desktop, desktop shortcut. Make a right click then click on prop, select properties, go to compatibility tab and then click on run this program in compatibility mode for and select windows 8 and then click on apply and then click on ok and then try launching the game. Now for many users you know disabling this use vendor extension has resolved the problem so go to this uh, in your case the game might be installed under this path that is c program steam steam apps common resident evil 2 and open this resident evil 2 config file so in my case i have installed the game in the d drive so i'll go to the d drive so go to the installation folder and open resident evil 2 fo uh, folder and here you can see resident evil 2 config file 
make a right click then click on open with notepad select notepad and go ahead and go ahead and you know disable this user vendor extension so uh, find user vendor extension here you can see it's enabled right now so you can go ahead and type in disable as it is disable so there is no space anywhere so user vendor extension is equal to disable and then here you can see capability is that in direct x 11 so in my case capability is direct x 12 so i'll just make it 11 and here the target platform is equal to direct x 11 so target platform is equal to direct x 11 so it was 11 from before now go click on file then click on save and then close the notepad and then you can try launching the game for many users this has worked so it may work for you now the next step is to disable antivirus while playing the game or you can add exception to your antivirus program for the game so just uh, go ahead and uh, select the exe file in your antivirus program and you know add it to the whitelist or you can just simply disable the antivirus while playing the game so once you are done playing you can always enable the antivirus program also make sure that you disable control folder access in windows security so just type in windows security in windows search box and then click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down click on manage ransomware protection and disable this option which says control folder access so if this is on if this is on like this you, you have to go ahead and disable it click on yes to allow and disable the control folder access and you can try launching the game now the next step is to turn off steam overlay so go to your steam library then uh, right click on resident evil 2 uh, game and then select properties and disable the option which says you can enable the steam overlay while in game so you have to disable this feature which says yeah enable the steam overlay while in game so you have to uncheck this then you can apply and then you can try launching the game so if you have revert tuner or mci afterburner running uh, run, uh, running on your computer then please go ahead and uh, close this and then you can try launching the game now for many users you know disabling the intel virtualization technology has you know helped the um, user to play the game without any issue so go to the system bios start your computer and then you can just tap in f2 or whatever function key you have to tap to go to the bios go to the bios and go ahead and disable this feature which says intel virtualization technology and then try launching the game for amd users uh, disabling iFinity in redon settings has uh, fixed the problem so open your redon settings go to display tab and then go to additional settings and disable iFinity. now the next step is to perform clean boot and stop windows 10 apps from running in the background so to perform clean boot just type in system configuration in windows search box just type in system configuration click on system configuration go to services tab then click on hide all microsoft services put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply ok and then restart your computer also make sure that you disable all the startup programs so make a right click on the taskbar go to task manager go to startup tab and disable all the programs from startup so make a right click if this is enabled like this then you have to make a right click and disable it so disable all the services from startup and then you can also uh, dis um, turn off the background apps so click on set uh, start menu then click on settings and type in background apps here click on background apps and you can turn off this feature which says let apps run in background so if this is on go ahead and turn it off and then this way you can turn off the background apps and the next step is to run the game on nvidia or amd graphic card so make sure that you're running get the game on the dedicated graphic card so make a right click on the start menu uh, right uh, make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel now once the control panel is open click on manage 3d settings go to program settings and then click on add select resident evil 2 from the list if you see resident evil from here in the list if you see it you select it if you don't see it click on browse go to the game installation folder and then select the exe of resident evil 2 and then click on open 
once the resident evil 2 is added click on this down arrow which says uh, select the preferred graphic processor then select high performance nvidia processor then click on apply once uh, the setting is saved you can go ahead and try launching the game the next step is to verify the integrity of game file in steam so go to the game library select resident evil to make a right click select properties and then go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files so once the verification is done you can go ahead and launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to launch this game successfully on a computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel